Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Fitness with Neha. Today we're going to do something a little more intense, a little more fast paced. We're going to be doing a circuit workout. I'm going to first take you through the exercises and then we're going to do two sets of 15 reps each. It's going to be quick, so make sure you pay attention the first time. Let's get started. First we're going to start with cat cow. On all fours, we're going to warm up our backs nice and easy, dipping all the way up into the ground. We're going to make a little dip in our backs and then we're going to come forward up and make an arc in our back like cat does. And again, dipping down and up and down and up. Breathing in and out. Couple more, just like this. Get all those little kinks out. Second thing we're going to do is called iron crosses. Lying on your stomach, your hands are going to be out like a cross. You're going to take your left leg and you're going to bring it up and across to your right hand. Reaching as far as you can for your right hand. Don't push your body too hard because you can sprain your back. Especially if you have a stiff one. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So the left to the right arm and then the right to the left arm. And switch it over. And a little faster now. Try and make it touch. Oh, that feels so good. You feel a nice stretch in your hip flexor, your stomach, maybe even your shoulders. A couple more. All right, and bring it up. So the first three exercises we're gonna do are side planks, V-sits, and then bridges. We're working our abs and our arms. Side planks are a basic hold, keeping your elbow under your shoulder, your body lined up, you're gonna lift up, keeping a nice straight line. Your right hand is gonna reach for the ceiling and we're gonna hold that there, okay? We're gonna switch and do the other side as well. The next are V-sits or suitcases, keeping your hands right next to your butt for support. You're gonna kick your legs out and try and make a V with your body. Your upper body and your lower body should be making a V shape. From here, we're gonna bring them in and we're gonna kick out. In and out. You can see why these are called suitcases because they look like one of those spring suitcases, opening and closing. So these are V sits. The next exercise is a bridge. This is gonna be for our triceps. So keeping your hands where they are, a little bit further back, you're gonna lift your body up into a bridge position. Take one leg in the air, doesn't matter which one, and you're gonna bend your elbows down, tuck your butt to the ground, and lift up. Down and up. Down and up. And as you do these, you're gonna feel whatever leg is up in the air, there's gonna be more tension on that tricep. So do rotate it. So here we go for our circuit. We're gonna start with side planks. Side plank. Other side. Elbow under shoulder. One straight line. And up. Left hand up in the air. If you want, you can challenge yourself. And try, try to look at your hand. Keep that body up. I don't want to see any dips. Up, up, up. Couple more seconds. Couple more seconds. 
And down. All right, let's go straight into V-sits. Remember these suitcases. Hands on our sides. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Into bridge. Up, leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Back to plank. Side plank. Here we go. And up. Other side. Side plank. Hold it guys, hold it there. Push yourselves, lift up a little higher if you can. All right, here we go into V-sits. Or suitcases. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Hands behind our back, no resting. Up. Take the other leg now, down, up, down, up. Keep it going. You should feel the other tricep really burning now. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. All right, here we go for circuit number two. We're gonna do squats, back, abs, and butt. Starting with squats, we're gonna be right here, hands out in front. Our feet are gonna be a little bit further than shoulder width apart. You're gonna sit back as if you're sitting back in a chair. Really sit back. Try and keep the upper back straight. I don't wanna see any bending going this way or that way. Your hips are coming out and you're gonna sit down. From there, we're gonna go into back. On our stomachs, hands on our, our chin on our hands rather, and we're gonna be swimming. Make sure your knees and your thighs are up off the ground. Every time you lift, they've got to be off the ground. Next thing we're going to do is elbow to knee plank. We're going to be in plank position. You're going to lift your right knee into your chest and out, and then to the side and out. Same thing with the left. Coming straight into your chest and out, and then to your elbow and back out. The last thing we're gonna do is butt. Hands out behind you, extending out. You're gonna lower your left, your right leg, you're gonna lift it up, cross over your left foot, and back up. So up, down, cross, up. Got it? So it's up, down, up, cross. All right, here we go. Let's start with squats for 15, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, really get low, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, for back. Four, I'm counting 15 seconds. Six, maybe a little longer than 15 seconds. Eight, 
Nine. Kick, kick, kick. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Here we go. For our abs. And up. Right knee comes in and out. Side and out. Left in. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Keep it up. In. Out. Almost done. I know these are tough. Breathing out, guys. Keep it going. Let's do a couple just side right here. Work that oblique. In and out. There we go. And down. On all fours. Right leg out. And down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Work those glutes. I feel it. I feel it. Woo! Boy, do I feel it. Other leg. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up, cross, up, down, up, up, cross, up, down, up, cross, up, keep it going. Let's count five here. One, two, three, four, and last one. Five. For Fifteen. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Really get low. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. We're back. Four, counting 15 seconds. Six, maybe a little longer than 15 seconds. Eight, nine, kick, kick, kick. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here we go. For our abs. And up. Right knee comes in and out, side and out. Left in, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. In, out. Keep it up. In, out. Almost done. I know these are tough. Breathing out, guys. Keep it going. Do a couple just side right here. Work that oblique. In and out. There we go. And down. On all fours. Right leg out. And down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Work those glutes. You feel it? I feel it. Woo! Boy, do I feel it. Other leg. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross. Up. Down. Up. Cross, up. Down. Up, up, cross, up, down, up, cross, up, keep it going. Let's count five here. One, two, three, 
Four. And last one. Five. All right, great job. Circuit number two. Whew. Here we go for the third set of circuit. We're gonna do fire hydrants, rockies, and tricep push-ups. Fire hydrants. In the push-up push -up position, you're gonna bring your right leg up, your foot rather, up to your right hand. You're gonna switch and bring your left up. Switch and bring your right. You got it? We're gonna be alternating. This is working your butt. From here, we're gonna go into rocky holds for your abs. Lying down, you can put your hands under your butt if you want for support. You're gonna lift your legs up to 90 and bring them slowly down. Up to 90, slowly down. The third is our tricep push-ups. We did these last time. We're gonna come in half push-up position, keeping your hands right where your bra line is, very close to your body, and you're gonna come down for a push-up. Just like that. Remember, I don't wanna see any mountains or valleys. A nice, firm, strong plank back. And up. All right, we ready for this circuit? Here we go. Starting with fire hydrants. And one, two, three, four, five. Those always look so funny, but they really work the glutes. Back to Rockies, hands underwards, coming up to 90, slowly down. Up, breathe it out, and up, breathe out. Up, for four, five, you feeling it? I'm feeling it. Whew. Five more. Four. Finish strong. Five. Tricep push ups. Come on, no resting. Straight into it. Right here. Elbows in. One. Two. Going for ten. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ready for our fire hydrants? Get those glutes burning. And one, two. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now you need to relax on your back. Or so you think. Hands under your butt. Coming up to 90. Slowly down. Breathe it out. You see me sweating? I'm sweating with you guys. Come on. Keep it up. Don't give up. Come on, breathe it out. All right, here we go. Tricep push ups. This is the last set. Come on. This is the last exercise of this circuit. Here we go. Down and up. Two, three, four, five. Halfway there. One, two, three. Come on, don't give up on me now. Four, and five. All right, that was circuit number three. All right guys, the next set, the next circuit we're gonna do is lunges, calf raises, and obliques. Starting with lunges here, we're gonna come down on, with our right leg 
all the way down. Make sure your left knee is slightly touching, just raising the ground. You're gonna come up and down, up and down, up and down. Really driving the force from your right heel. Drive it up, 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 okay? Next what I'm gonna do is calf raises. So you're just gonna come here like a ballerina, keep your feet slightly pointing out, and you're just gonna raise your feet up. Try and get as high as you can on the balls of your feet. Balance. Don't want you to use anything for balance. You should be able to do this without support. Calf raises. The next is obliques side to side on the ground. Here we go. Just like that. All right? Here we go. Starting with side lunges. 15 of everything. Right leg first. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, other leg, left leg down, coming forward, 1, 2, 3, driving with your left heel up, 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 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, nice, easy thing, calf raises, feet slightly pointing out, and up on your toes, up, standing really tall, as if someone is pulling your neck up, like there's a pull in your back, staying really, really tall, like a ballerina, up, you can even bend your knees if you want to. Keep that balance. Big deep breaths, guys. Go a little quicker. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Now, obliques back on the ground, legs folded in. Hands to the side for support, and coming down for one, and two. Try and get your knees to just tap the ground. Tap, and tap. Tap, and tap. Usually, really usually, using those obliques right here to pull your legs back up to center. Right here. Using that muscle to pull them back up. Pull them up. Pull them up. Couple more, guys. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Let's do three more. Seven. Eight. Nine. Back up for lunges, side lunges. Here we go. Right leg first. One, two, you can keep your hands on your hips here. You can keep them here, wherever you feel comfortable. Keep that back straight. I don't wanna see any back bending. A cup of water on your head. Balance that water. Keep going. Two, three, four, five. Other leg. Take it out if you need to. Woo! Here we go. Up. 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 Keep that balance. Water on my head. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice and easy calf raises. Get a nice little rest here. Lie position and up. One, two, 
three, four. I want you using any balance. Back nice and tall. There we go. Let's go a little faster. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep it going. Are you sweating? I'm sweating. Big deep breaths. Here we go for side to side obliques. On our backs, knees bent a little, arms to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We gotta do thirty. Remember, doing one and one. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. You're really using those obliques. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Congrats, guys! You just completed a thirty-minute circuit workout. You got your heart rate pumping, we worked our arms, we worked our core, we worked our thighs, we worked our butt, we worked our back. I'm sweating, what about you? Living your best life starts with what you put in your body. Food choices don't have to feel like a punishment. Take pride in eating well, being choosy, and choosing what you put in your mouth. Replace mayonnaise with avocado, white sugar with agave nectar. Soon these choices become a habit. Shifting the way we think about our choices makes a huge impact on how we feel about what we eat. Choosing not to have something versus telling yourself you can't have it is a huge difference mentally and has really helped me keep myself in shape and feeling great. Changing the language that we use to tell ourselves what to eat and what not to eat can have a lasting impact. Remember, diets fail, but healthy habits and a positive attitude always prevail. Thank you for joining me and thanks for letting me help you live your best. Join me next time on Fitness with Neha.